So the firm frequency response uh, product is, is absolutely vital in the activities to achieve frequency management and to balance generation and demand because from a wide range of, of uh, FFR providers we can help then achieve variations in in-feed or demand connected to the system to help moment by moment achieve that balance of generation and demand and so therefore manage system frequency. Firm Frequency Response, or FFR as it's known, is a service, a very useful service that helps us keep frequency close to 50 Hz. You'll know that we have statutory frequency limits, which mean we have to keep the system frequency between 49.5 and 50.5 Hz. We also have operational limits, which are a bit of a safety net and allow us to keep the frequency between 49.8 and 50.2 Hz. So there are two flavours of FFR that help us do this. The first is a dynamic service. It dynamically responds to system frequency on a continuous basis to keep the frequency as close to 50 Hz as possible. The second flavour is a static service, and that's a service which only operates when system frequency hertz either a low trigger level or a high trigger level. We have a minimum dynamic of 350 megawatts for FFR, so that does vary depending on whether it's daytime or nighttime. So for example, at night when demand is lower and there are fewer uh, generation plants on the system, we may have to hold more FFR than our minimum dynamic to keep the frequency within 50 Hz because the system is a bit lighter at that point and so any deviation caused by increased demand or a shortfall in generation can have a bigger effect overnight. It's the same if you compare summer and winter. In winter, when we have higher demands and much more generation plant on the system to meet those demands, then we need less FFR than we would, for example, with a much lighter system in the summer, for example, uh, where we'd need a bit more FFR to manage the frequency fluctuations to keep it at 50 Hz.